in this question we are asked to find the value of this expression over here all right now some students may try to solve this and this and this and this independently and then add them up together you will still get the answer but that will take a lot of time right so over here notice the pattern right you have minus 1 by 3 over here and you have plus 1 by 3 over here you have minus 1 by 4 over here and you have plus 1 by 4 over here so that's the pattern right so noticing the pattern is crucial to solve this question very quickly so this minus 1 by 3 and this plus 1 by 3 cancel out right and you have minus 1 by 4 and plus 1 by 4 these two cancel out and you have minus 1 by 5 and plus 1 by 5 so these two also cancel out and you're left with 1 by 2 minus 1 by 6 so that's the answer so 1 by 2 can be written as 3 by 6 so 3 by 6 minus 1 by 6 which is equal to 3 minus 1 by 6 if you have the same denominator you can simplify it like this right you just do the operation on the numerators and then you keep the denominator the same so this is 3 minus 1 by 6 which is 2 by 6 which is equal to 1 by 3 and that is the correct answer to this question which is answer option c now let's look at what is being tested in this question now one thing that you should know which is related to this question is opening of brackets right let's say you have a minus b plus c minus d so this can be written as a minus b which is this part over here and then you have this plus over here and then you have c minus d over here right notice that you have c and then you have minus d over here now again in this question this was the case so over here it's very easy if you have a plus over here opening the bracket does not change anything it's very easy right but in a similar question you could have a minus so let me demonstrate that also over here let's say it's a minus b minus c minus d how do you open it so you write a minus b over here you have a minus b over here then you have minus of c and then you have minus of minus d right so minus of c gives you minus c and minus of minus d gives you plus d you have minus of minus d that's why you have a plus d over here so this is also something that you should know right opening of brackets and again it's important to be able to recognize patterns now don't worry once you practice a few problems in this of this type you will start easily recognizing relevant patterns do check the description to know more about my gmat math live bootcamp and remember to subscribe to my youtube channel see you in the next video